Hello and welcome to another episode of Mitsubishi Mastered. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at connection of an HMI product, the GT25, uh, to the IQF PLC. Let's begin. First, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. packing material, some documentation, and of course the GOT. GOT stands for Graphic Operating Terminal, and that's what we call the Mitsubishi HMI. So let's go ahead and open this up. You'll see a nice protective film. Uh, we can remove this film, but it's ideal to leave it until we're done programming. And then if we want, we can order another film to go on it. Um, on the back, we have a lot of connections. We're gonna go ahead and connect up our power and our one of our ethernet ports to the PLC and start programming. And just like that, we've got power connected. We can see the HMI screen is on. Uh, we have a red cable now from the PLC to a, a simple unmanaged switch. We have an orange cable going to our HMI, our GOT2000. And then we have a blue cable going to our PC. And, and what we're going to do is use the program that we started in the previous videos and display some of the information here. You'll notice that we have not downloaded anything to the HMI yet, so it says please perform installation, and that's what we're gonna do. So we'll open up our project, and maybe one of the first things we'll do is allow this M0 to be uh, displayed on the HMI and we will turn on Y0, so we'll also display that, and then we'll give a reset. So this video is not gonna go over labels, um, so I'm just gonna add another element inside of here um, to do the reset that the HMI can see quickly, uh, and we'll explain labels uh, in another video. So if I go into write mode, I can control insert, and I'm gonna put a normally closed, so F6, um, M1, and that will become our reset, and I can do a shift F4, and write that to the PLC. And now we can monitor this, and we can see that Y0 is not on, and M0 is not on, so let's add that to our GOT project. First thing we do is we open GT Designer 3, we start a new project. We have a nice uh, wizard here that we can work through. So we want the GOT 2000. We're gonna select the GT 25 series. Um, in our case, we have the uh, GT 2507W. Um, so that will the W will tell us what type of uh, resolution we have. We just say next, next. Now we're, what, we have to tell it what type of PLC we're talking to. So we're talking to an IQF PLC. We say next, over Ethernet, yes. Uh, it's gonna set up the, the Ethernet as a gateway. Uh, that's just the driver that it needs to install. We say yes. Um, we can say next, 3.18, so we're gonna leave the IP address as is. So that's all correct, so we can say next there. Um, for screen switching, uh, we're gonna use an internal bit, a GD. So this is a GOTD data register. And that's fine. We could also control that from the PLC, but we're keeping it simple in this video. So we say next. We can choose an overall uh, screen design. I'm gonna keep it on the black theme. Go next and finish. And okay. And data view, uh, we can pin down here like this and kind of hide that. So that's it. So now we have our template to work with and we wanna add uh, a switch. So over here we have a switch block. If we just do generic, that's a, that will give us any type. If we know exactly what we want, in this case we're gonna do a bit switch, we can select it. Um, if we did the generic, we can, we can choose what we want later on, um, but we're just gonna do a bit switch and then bring this into our project, double click. We'll call this M0 and we'll just make this a momentary, so just as long as we're holding it. We could also do a set and a reset or we could do an alternate. Um, we could also choose how we want the lamp to be shown. In this case, we're just going to make the, the lamp trigger if we touch it. But we could also say if M0 is on, uh, make a lamp out of that. So that's our M0. That's all we need there. 
and then we need a lamp uh, to indicate Y0. So again, we'll select a bit lamp, and if the size isn't uh, the way we want it, we can drag it, or down in the lower left-hand corner, we can set the exact height and width. So what, let's see what our block was, 97, 81. We'll make this 90 and 90, and then we'll do the same for the lamp just to keep it looking nice. Uh, if we want, and then inside of here, we can give this a Y0. And so when the Y0 is off, it will be blank. And when it's on, it will be red. We could change the color. Maybe we want this to be green and green. And we say, okay. Uh, we could also label these. We can label them externally. So Y0 and uh, Control C and Control V work in this case. So we'll do M0 here. Um, maybe we want to call this, label this on the inside. So in the text in the center, we can say um, start output, meaning our Y0, start Y0 output. And then we want a reset block. So maybe I'll copy and paste this. And our reset was M1. So we'll make the text on that reset. And I like the resets to be yellow. So we're going to change this to yellow. And that's it. So uh, the only other thing that uh, I'm going to do in this simple project is show how to view a numerical value. In this case, we had D100 that's always counting up off of the one second clock. So every uh, second that it turns on, it's going to add a K1. Um, and actually, I just see that I made a mistake here. This, is, this should be an add plus. So we're going to go ahead and make this an add plus so it just pulses every second. Instead of, uh, before what it was doing is keeping it on, keeping that SM412 on for half a second and off for half a second. We just want it when it turns on just to pulse that. So let's see what that looks like now. There we go. That looks a little bit nicer. Um, so again, that's D100. So if we come back to our GOT project, we can see we have numerical display input or ASCII display input. So we'll choose numerical display input. I can make this larger just by dragging and I'll say D100. I could make it an input if I wanted. I'm just gonna keep it as a, well, let's make it an input. Um, so that way we can touch on it and we can make a change if we want to. Um, I'm gonna leave everything else the same. Just keep it simple. We'll say okay. And let's, let's do one more thing. Let's actually make a uh, different screen. So let's call this uh, let's rename this screen so we can right click and rename this. We'll keep the one there. We'll say main screen and we'll make a new screen on two and we'll call this um, uh, numeric display. Now we need a switch to switch the screens. Um, I'm going to come up here and just choose generic switch and make that a little bit larger come down here in the corner and now you can see it's blank it doesn't uh, know what type of switch so we didn't select bit switch word switch etc this case I'm going to choose screen switching switch and I'm going to say go to screen 2 and this will call uh, jump to 2 so just jump to screen 2 I'm just keeping it very simple um, and then on screen 2 let's copy this come over here and paste this we want to make this to be a back we could, we could tell it to go back specifically to one, or we can use just the back or previous button, which is convenient. If you're flipping through screens, you can always just go back to whichever one you were previously on. So we'll say back, um, say okay. And then let's take this control X to cut the numeric display and put it here. All right, let's see if this works. So communication, right to GOT. Uh, we'll change this to ethernet, 3.18, we can do a test. We have successful connection and click OK and write. So what's really nice about the software, we don't have to do an offline compile and write. We can just make changes and, and immediately write. Now, this first time around, it's going to take a little while because what it's doing is updating the OS and it's writing the driver, the Ethernet driver, and everything else we need. And just like that, uh, everything has been written um, and the GOT will reset. We can hear the, the ding. And I'm going to open up GXWorks 3 so that we can 
verify that we have success with that as well. We have to choose our language, so we'll say English. This is just the first, first time that we write, we have to choose a language. We'll get another reset. And now we can see our buttons and our lamp. We can screen switch, we see our numeric value here and we can switch back, so let's just test this. So we turn on M0, the Y came on, the Y output is now on, and sure enough, in our program, we can see the Y0. And if we select our reset button, that uh, reset that whole circuit, we could turn it on again and turn it off. If we screen switch, we could select this, and we'll say, I don't know, 200, enter. So that's 200 and now it's 201, 202, 203, and that's just going to increment every second. And that's how easy it is to uh, open up the GOT2000, uh, write a simple project with some, uh, some switches and some lamps and numeric inputs or numeric displays and get started on your project. And that concludes uh, the video. Thanks again for watching another episode of Mitsubishi Electric Automation Mastered where we show how quick and easy it is to become a master of Mitsubishi Electric Industrial Controls. Thanks and have a great day.